Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a uh, two case break, 16 total boxes, two case break of 2022-23 Bowman University Best Basketball Random Letter Break number one. So it's 16 total boxes and it's all random letter breaks. Now first letter of their first name, all card ship. If you get V, yeah, Victor Wenbanyamas. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. And a big thanks to the letters right here for existing as well. Let's roll it, randomize it, six and a six, 12 times each. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. After 12 times, we got John down to Adam. And then six and a six, 12 times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and finally 12th and final time. We got PF down to A after 12. All right, so John, you have P, F, Jose with H, Tristan, W, Z, and all other letters. John, last spot mojo, V. For victory, maybe? Steven with C, John with T, Adam, L, N, John with S, Tristan with D, Adam with M, Tristan with K, John with B, E, G, Tristan, J, John, R, and Adam with A. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're going to pause the video just for a little bit. I'm going to go run and grab those cases. Um, letter trades are pretty rare, but this will also be a trade window as well. So stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done. So that list right here remains the same. Big thanks, to everybody, for getting in on it, of course, on Tuesday, 7-Eleven. Random first letter of their first name. Two case break number one. I believe Jason Jaspi, who's live on Instagram tonight, at Jaspi's Breaks, has, uh, has another case with him if you want to buy personals one at a time. There it is, good luck everyone. All right, we'll, we'll give it a, I maybe through the first couple innings or so, maybe the first inning. But you can vote in our uh, you can vote in our poll. Who wins the M 2023 MLB All Star Game tonight? Will it be the Will the NL finally win one? I think the last what four or five seasons the NL has not. Am I, is this the right break? Yeah, 2022 Bowman University. I don't, I don't remember doing this. I did four cases of it a while ago. I just blacked out. So vote in our poll. The uh, National League, by the way, slight favorites at minus 115. American League slight dogs at plus 103-ish, depending on where you look and if you're into that sort of thing. If you're not, you just let me know who you think just wins. 56% of voters are saying it's going to be the National League. Yeah, any MVP, you know what? I didn't put any, I actually don't have any investment on any part of this game. I should have had some investment in a, uh, in all-star MVP. Anyone have any thoughts on all-star MVP? Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez, little hometown favorite. And lead off the ball on Ronald Acuna Jr. Garrett Cole told him he was throwing a fastball down the middle. Everyone knows. He told him it's up. Your Otani, uh, your all-star MVP odds according to 
clutch points. I think they're, are they using a special book? Are they using their own book? They're using their own book. Otani, plus 850, about eight and a half to one. Ronald Acuna, 10 to 1. Adaz Garcia, 21 to 1. Juan Soto, 35 to 1. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 35 to 1. So Otani is your, uh, is your favorite. What did Otani do last year? I think he got a hit off of Kershaw and they got picked off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he got remember remember that? Yeah, picked yeah. off by Kershaw? Yeah. Otani, what a, what a bum. <laughs> <laughs> what a loser. What a loser. <laughs> Getting picked off by old man Kershaw. Who the hell is it? There's Amari Otani Bailey. Anyway. UCLA's own going to Adam. Letter A. We've got a Caitlin Clark insert. She's pretty good. Apparently a good golfer, too. Hardwood Warriors, Caitlin Clark. Letter C, Steven. we got Armando Baycott. Remember, all card ship here. And there's our first autograph to Juan Harris. I don't remember if he was drafted or not, but this will go to Tristan in the letter D. And we'll do a little uh, autograph recap at the end of this break, too, along with any other sort of significant cards right here. You got Matthias Bozellis, 10 out of 99. Apparently, this dude is supposed to be potentially a top 10, top 5 pick next season. Jerace Walker did get drafted. He's been looking pretty good. And some summer league action. There's Caitlin Clark. We'll look for parallels of her. This is going to go to Steven in the letter C. Fractures are not numbered. Caitlin Clark, nice. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for. And G, G, Jackson. Good game, Jackson. Going to the letter G, John Jackson. Is it is it mostly Braves in that starting lineup? Sportport saying it's Braves versus American League. All right, the Kalen Clark speckle is not numbered, but it is a parallel. It is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Rex says, I saw a guy last night on Facebook. This is inherently the problem with Facebook. That just like that, Julio card skyrocket while Tawny plummets. Makes you laugh how people lose their minds during one game or one play. Get off the Facebook, Rex. You'll see less idiots there. Although then again, if Rex wasn't on Facebook, Maybe we wouldn't get funny stories like this. <laughs> Idiots in the hobby. The knee-jerk reactions. I don't think I don't think they do very well in the uh, stock market. A lot of times, that's why we see so many like former Wall Street guys kind of, you know, putting their spin on the on the hobby. There are a lot of shared elements there, and one of those elements is is patience, you know, and just knowing and a, div a d diversified hobby portfolio, right? Have a don't just put all your eggs in one player basket. I thought Adalas Garcia as well. I'm not surprised Vlad Jr. won. He was the second favorite, at least according to Vegas odds. It's due to Mintz. I did think Garcia would, would make it further, though. And we've got USC's Vincent Iwuchupu. That's going to go to John in the letter V, last spot mojo. 
30 out of 50. That's true. The stock market is rigged. All right. Rex got that from a fa another Facebook group post. A lot of experts there. Um, that Caleb Love mini diamonds, not speckle, is to 299. And we got a Caitlin Clark refractor. So Caleb and Caitlin both going to Steven in the letter C. Is Caitlin Clark doing one more year at Iowa? I think she is. I'm sure she'll be a high draft pick in the, in the WNBA draft. This guy's also supposed to be, he, he, I think he is going back to school. And there's Sky Clark. Reach for the sky. John with letter S. This guy's another, another one who's going back to school but should be allegedly a top pick if his season goes well, I would imagine. But one top 10, top five pick potentially in next year's NBA draft. So Christian, Tristan, one to hold on to. Adam, what's up? But before the derby started, you bet a dollar on Aro Zarania over Vlad in the final at 40 to one. Got you. That, that would have been nice. Facebook experts, they are real. Although I probably, uh, this is a difficult one. Who do you trust more? Is some rando on Facebook or some rando on Twitter? Apparently, according to cloud services, and cloud data number providers like Cloudflare and stuff like that are saying that uh, Twitter traffic ever since Meta's threads came out has dropped significantly. I'm not, I'm not sure what Musk is doing for doing with Twitter, but Yeah, I only use Twitter for sports now. Whereas I it, just put like some stuff in their organizing Twitter lists, and then that's it. Not the best uniform. I don't. I don't look look anywhere else. Yeah, the uniforms. I think they look better in the pictures, but seeing them out on the field, it looks like It doesn't. Uh, the teal ones are a little bit better. Definitely. Definitely. But well, I don't know. All right, there's Brandon Miller for B, that's for John. We got Anthony Black for Adam, die cut in the letter A. We got Zach Eady, Speckle. So Speckle, it's kind of hard to tell. Is it hard to tell the difference? Speckle are actually dots, circles. There's Chance Westry, and the mini diamonds are more jagged. Chance Westry, it's more uh, fractals on it. Is that the right word? Letter C, that'll be for Steven. Yeah, the dark uniforms look like they just got home from a long shift at work. I understand a, uh, a sort of, there's Tyrese Hunter to 199 for T, John. Uh, a, a sort of understated look, but it might have gone a little too understated. I have to admit, on TV it looks weird. On When they released the uniforms, like on photos, I thought it looked a lot cooler. Kind of going with like a foresty, green, Emerald City kind of deal, but maybe the execution not as good. There's Victor Wambanyama. I remember in Chrome, he's a short print. I think he's a, a lot more common in uh, in best, but still nice. 
Saw him at Summer League. His first Summer League game on a Friday was not good, but showed some moments. And then I think last night's game, he was, he was very good, and they sh shut him down after that. Lauren Betts for Adam, the letter L. There were some welcome to the NBA moments for Victor Wimbanyama. He's very skinny, you know, for, for his height, but he moves well, passes well, a good basketball IQ, all, all that sort of stuff. At least, and, you know, I'm no basketball coach, but at least from my eyes, that's what it seemed to be. Shaden Shoot for the letter J, that'll be for Tristan. Jeremy Roche will go to you as well. But once he, if he builds up a, l a little muscle, Victor Wimbanyama, you know, just gets used to the physicality of the NBA. You know, kind of develops sort of a Tim Duncan-y mid-range shot. <coughs> if he stays healthy. So apparently, here's one thing I heard about Victor Wembanyama, my my cousin, who also is a big basketball fan, um, says that like an hour before even even warm ups before game time, Victor you don't see his feet here, but Victor Wembanyama does a lot of foot exercises. So apparently, well, how did my cousin say it? Like he he'll be barefoot or maybe just in socks. He's without shoes and he'll do like walking exercises on just on each toe. So like he'll try to put more pressure on the big toe and then like walk a few steps here or there or whatever and then try to focus on the second or middle toes and then toes on the outsides and stuff like that. So to kind of build up that toe strength, which obviously is good for gripping and probably good for your ankles and other parts of your lower extremities. So like that's what he does. That's part of his sort of pre-game, pre-layup line routine in an effort to, you know, keep his body in shape in relation to his extraordinary size. I th which I thought was interesting. You know, I think commonly it was just like, hey, you're a big guy, you're going to have these lower body issues unless, you know, you're genetically gifted and you're able to to play big like Shaq, who for the most part, I think, was relatively injury-free during his prime. But, yeah, I thought that was interesting. There's Marcus Sasser for the letter M. More Brandon Millers. He looked good at Summer League. Another Lauren Betts, this time purple at 250. Brandon Miller, letter B, that's for John. He looked good at Summer League, too. What else I see? I saw Lakers' Jalen Huchifino also moving well. He might be getting regular minutes from the get-go. And there's Drew Timmick. Gonzaga's Drew Timmick going to letter D. That's for Tristan. Ashley Watkins mini diamonds two ninety nine. Kevin Clark. T 
Keegan's brother Chris Murray, for Tristan and Kay, and Marcus Sasser. Adam, letter M. Good anthem. Do you think there's a? Do you think there's one company that has a monopoly on giant flags? Is there an official flag provider for Major League Baseball for those giant flags they unfurl at at sports stadiums across the country? Do they make other gigantic flags for other countries? Yeah, me too. Rex is saying I like when people come up with a routine for themselves. Yeah, that's right, Rex. Not everyone's the same. Every, every, everyone's body is different. Everyone warms up in a different way. And they often say that about, you know, how you shoot a basket or how you swing a golf club or a baseball bat. Everyone's body is different. Everyone moves a different way. You can't just have a cookie cutter type swing and maybe, you know, assumes that that that'll work for you. All right, we got Nick Smith Jr. for letter N, die cut. Got Shawan Howard's kid, Jet Howard. Zach E.D. Mini Diamonds to 299. Let me for Tristan, the letter Z. Jet Howard Refractor for the letter J, Tristan. And Adam will get the uh, Nick Smith Jr. die cut. We got Mr. Bolton and a leaky black. Leaky? 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 Going to Adam, letter L. On Hardwood Warriors. We got Katie Johnson to 199. 50 out of 199. That'll be for Tristan and the letter K. Jaden Shoot Blue to 150. Letter J, that'll be for Tristan. And Jeremy Roche. Tristan with the letter J. Is that Edgar Martinez throwing the first pitch? Nice. 14 out of 150 on that one. Tristan, letter J. You get the Jalen Wilson as well. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh no. 
Come on, Rex. Rex's phone fell and was brushing his teeth and trying to catch it. Stream rewound two hours, so I disappeared. And you're like, where did Joe go? And realize, oh, right, I was lagging. Don't be a lagger, ladies and gentlemen. Now, usually the two hours is kind of extreme. But usually, sometimes YouTube acts weird. They just will automatically adjust your, your viewing settings, your stream quality settings, and sometimes that'll kick you back a few minutes, and you can just trade windows and contests and special deals and stuff like that, or just be behind in the conversation. Don't do that. Just always make sure you're watching live. It's good to just double check. Make a habit of it. Drew Timmy die cut. And we've got a Malik Renault. Lava to 50. Hardwood Warriors. Lava parallel for Adam in the letter M. Another one, Banyama. All of those will go to V. John. Got Aaliyah Boston, Speckle, and Jerace Walker. Why here is pretty good too. Tristan with the letter J. Also get that Jalen Cook. And that looks like mini diamonds. Yeah, Jared McCain to 199 mini diamonds. Tristan with the letter J. And we got DeMar Langford, green. For Steven and the letter, uh, sorry, Tristan and the letter D. 58 out of 99. Two more boxes to go. You can still vote on our poll, ladies and gentlemen, who wins the 2023 MLB All-Star Game tonight. The National League or the American League. They're, they're in Seattle, so the AL is the uh, is considered the home team here in this situation. So far, Jaspi's voters are saying 55% are saying a little over half are thinking it's going to be NL finally winning one. Is the All-Star game meaningful anymore? Now that there's so much interleague play, and, and now even more because of the completely balanced schedule, should they change the format of this? Should it just be, should there be, should they try a captain and a draft sort of situation? Captains can draft anybody, AL or NL? We got Oscar right here, letter O. That's for, that's all other letters. Tristan with that one. Got a Brandon Miller, got a Frankie Collins, mini diamonds at 299. Letter F, that'll be for John. Brandon Miller's going to John in the letter B. And Victor Wenbanyama autograph. Last spot mojo, John Jackson got randomized the letter V. V for victory. 
and Victor Wenbanyama. Congrats. Adam, 41 out of 99. Adam gets Adam. You thought there were redemptions. You thought wrong, Rex. And a Kalen Clark. Wow. What a box. Stephen Carney with the letter C. Eighteen out of twenty-five. Speckle autograph, Caitlin Clark. That would have been a hell of a personal box. You're welcome, John. Thanks for getting in. All right, final box of the first case. This is a two-case break. Another case coming up right after this. We got Cam Whitmore. Another Victor Wemba. Now, John, you should keep an eye out for parallels of that base card there. That would be awesome. Something to look for in the second case. Maybe another auto. That'd be even better. Nick Smith Jr. Cam Whitmore going to C, Stephen Carney. More Caitlin Clark for Stephen as well. That's a refractor Caitlin Clark. And PJ Hall is your autograph. That's going to go to John in the letter P. Cam Whitmore, Speckle, die cut. Hans Emanuel is a mini diamond. So you can kind of see, in case you were curious, you can see the difference here. So you can see the speckle, circles, right? A little more jagged edges on the uh, mini diamonds. And Jacob Toppin, letter J, gold lava. Tristan, 37 out of 75. All right.
That's that for the first case, not too shabby. But wait, there's more. Here's the second case. See what we got in here. Maybe some more stuff like that. Good luck, everyone. Case two. I really play the author makes her sold out. If I can't, have a... ah, okay. Yeah, remind me again after after this. Who's this kid running the bases? If that was a Constellations of Greatness insert in the last box, it's a short print? Take a look. That's worth. That's worth doing a doing a look. <coughs> Hardwood Warriors. It's neon. Flashing lights. Were we thinking of this? Flashing lights. It's Bowman masterpieces. Yeah, that is, there you go. Constellations of Greatness. Nice. Good eye, Adam. Constellations of Greatness Speckle. Nick Smith Jr. for Adam. For you, Adam, and the letter N. Did, he get dra did Nick Smith Jr. get drafted? Please be drafted. He is a professional basketball player for the Charlotte Hornets. He was the late first round pick, 27th over. Oh no! Thomas, you almost had it. I don't know if anyone heard earlier, but Thomas had first first batter home run. I had Ronald Acuna lead off bomb. Lead off bomb. Oh. oh what a bum. Warning track power. Dude, come on. All right, first box of the second case. And away we go. We got Felix Opara to 299 for the letter F. That'll be for John. Mini Diamonds, Caitlin Clark, Refractor for Stephen Carney, letter C. And we got Chris Livingston, I presume, going to Stephen in the letter C. Right, yeah, that, that, that guy on Rex's Facebook is going to be typing about how Ocon Acuna value plummeting. Oh, wow, what a catch. Jordan Walsh. To 250, that's for letter J, Tristan. I mean, plays like that might keep people interested in watching this game. There's a base, Caitlin Clark, and there's your autograph, Frankie Collins. 
Letter F. That'll be for John. on my shoulder weird, jammed it up. Are they doing, are, do we have any special commercials for All Star? I don't, is it like the Super Bowl where I'm sure advertising rates are a little bit higher? What game is this? Final Fantasy? Wow, that looked kind of intense. Do I have to buy a PlayStation 5? Should we take a glance at Summer League uh, scores while we're we're doing this basketball related break. You got two games in the books. Nets beat the Bucks 92 to 71. Any notable standouts here? Duke Jr. with 24 points plus 35. Wow. If any other names are jumping out at me here. What about on the Bucks side? It doesn't look like they did very well if they're only scoring 71 points. Uh, Chris Livingston, whose auto we just pulled, right? Uh, not a good game for him. Nine, well, it's all right. Game. 24 minutes, nine points, five rebounds, a few assists, and a steal. But a minus 32 on that plus minus. Marjan Beauchamp, who's actually looking like he was going to be lighting it up, has gone over. Oh. 23 minutes, 0 for 5 from the field, 0 for 3 from 3. And did no field, uh, field goal, fee free throws attempted. We got Hansel Emmanuel to 199. That'll be for H, that'll be for Jose. Yeah, come on, Joe Shoulder. Now, it's all my fault, Rex. I think I just slept awkwardly. on my shoulder. There's Kiki Rice, letter K, Tristan. Sixty-eight out of seventy-five. Gold lava. Another Wenbanyama base. Maybe maybe we'll see some uh, parallels here. Aliyah Boston, Jordan Walsh for the uh, letter J to 250, Tristan. Now, I, I want everyone's opinions, especially if you watch a lot of baseball. So Joe Davis does play-by-play -play for Fox, the big games on Fox and the World Series for baseball. He also, his other job, main job, I think, is play-by-play -play for the Los Angeles Dodgers, my team. So I hear them all the time. Um, and there's Donovan Klingon. Now, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like John Smoltz as the color commentator, but definitely like Joe Davis's play-by-play. -play. What does everyone else think? It's Tristan with letter D. People like Joe Davis as a play-by-play -play guy for, for Fox Baseball?
Rockets beat the Thunder 105 to 92. We're talking about Cam Whitmore not too long ago for the Rockets. 16 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals. That's pretty good. 34 minutes of work. Hudgens had 26 points. Mayer had 19 points. And 10 rebounds. On the Thunder side, I don't know if they're really playing Chet Holmgren too much, right? I think he played a game. So we got a we got Shackleford with 16 points, KJ Williams with 19 points and 13 rebounds. It's pretty nice. It could be a, OKC a team to just look out for in general. And Zach Gallon strikes out Otani. A game in progress, Suns Pelicans are in progress. All right, onwards. We got Matis Bazelis. 41 out of 99 green mini diamonds. Adam with letter M. Nick Smith Jr., an autograph this time. Adam Copperman. He's a Hornet. Has he played recently? He played my Lakers a couple nights ago. Nick Smith Jr. with 11 points, a rebound, a couple assists, a block. Three for seven from three. The threes were the only shots he made. He's three from 10 from the field. Chris Livingston. There's Cam Whitmore. We're just talking about him. There's Oscar Chiebwe. 197 out of 199 mini diamond. Ooh, there we go. Blue, Victor Wembanyama. It's going to go to John Jackson. 108 out of 150. That's his weight, right? 150. There's Kiki Rice Speckle. And Matas Bozelis. That's for Adam in the letter M. Like I said, this is one to hold on to. I've heard that uh, could be. I mean, it's way, in some way too early mock drafts, I saw him in like top three. But that's way too early. <laughs> Also, uh, saw Grady Dick play. <laughs> and there were some, like, some dudes, uh, some dudes in their, you know, early 20s. You know, not much younger than me, but some dudes are in their early 20s who were having a good time with Grady Dick. A lot of talk about him uh, getting to the hole in a basketball sense, obviously. This a family show. Penetrating the defense. Talking about his energy. Rex saying, okay, I know you rarely ever like my ideas. Well, it's not, it's not subjective. It's just they're just not good, Rex. But do you think it'd be fun to watch a couple NFL and NBA teams play a baseball game once a year? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't think you want MLB players playing NFL. I mean, for like an exhibition, I suppose, but that's... 
Would anyone watch that? It's, it's a notch above like a celebrity softball game, right? I mean, when I'm watching athletes, I want to watch them play their best sport, you know, at a, at a high level. So do I want to see, you know, Major League Baseball players trying to play like a flag football game or something like that? No, that'd be just I'd be like just watching a, another group of adults, you know, that are slightly better athletes, but you're watching them play flag football against each other. Do I want to see NFL players flailing at a softball attempting to hit one out? I feel like I feel like the novelty would wear off very quickly. You know, MLB All-Star game always has a celebrity game which includes athletes from other sports. Ooh, look at this. 13 out of 100. Pink Lava, Victor Wenbanyama. There you go, John. So you got the autograph, the Wenbanyama auto in the first half. You got the blue to 150. You got the Pink Lava to 100. Are we getting warmer to a, a really low-numbered hit? Low-numbered card? Got a Brandon Miller refractor for the letter... B, and it'll be for John. Pink Lava. Some nice stuff, John. Just Lakers bias right here. We're going to sleeve that up. And we got Jaden Zachary for Tristan and the letter J. If we build a rainbow right out of here, that'd be awesome. 36 out of 75. And Lakers Jalen Hood Shafino for Tristan and the letter J. Another Victor Wembanyama base. And a Kajani Wright for letter K. That'll be for Tristan 2250. No, I, I have zero interest in seeing Celtics versus Yankees playing a basketball game and a baseball game. I mean, how eagerly, Rex, are you tuning into a celebrity softball game when they do that before the All-Star, before like the Futures game or whatever? They've got former players on there or players from other leagues on there. How closely are you watching, you know, they do that for basketball. They're, they're playing celebrity basketball games. Nice Chet Howard Red for Tristan, letter J. Are you watching that, the celebrity basketball game, which also includes... Players from other sports? Eight out of ten. Nice. Jawan Howard's kid. So you're basically asking for a glorified version of that. I don't think... Plus, I know this is more of a thought exercise, but plus, in reality, no team would ever let them do that. Like who's covering that? The, the insurance on that would be would be crazy to insure the contracts of Jason Tatum playing playing baseball and then tweaking an ankle, turning you know rounding the corner at first. Also, I think the. I think the sports overlap, right? So when would you do it? Like schedule-wise, it just would would be hard to schedule. When would you do it when? Because usually pro players will do like a celebrity tournament, but usually it'll be the off-season.
All right, another box. We got Arthur Kaluma, Aqua Lava to one ninety nine. There's Kaluma again, refractor for Adam in the letter A. Caitlin, letter C, going to Stephen. And Deron Holmes from Dayton, letter D, Tristan. I guess we're in the top of the second, so let's end the poll. So from all the voters, people are thinking that the National League, 56% thinking that they're going to win tonight's game. Well, that'll make it, what, five or six in a row for the AL? There's MJ Rice, Mini Diamond for letter M for Adam. Chris Livingston die cut going to letter C. Katie Johnson, Speckle, Brandon Miller, Refractor, and a Trace Jackson Davis autograph, letter T. John Jackson with Trace. All right, three boxes to go in this dual case break. We're almost there. Getting there. So one summer league game in Vegas in progress. Suns, Pelicans. Pelicans are up 33 to 24 on the Suns. Any early in the uh, three minutes left in the second quarter, the first half. Any statistical standouts here? No, it doesn't seem like it. Matkovic on the Pelicans has 10 points. Four rebounds and assist early in the game. All right, there's Corbin Carroll up to bat. I guess whatever injury he had like a week or so ago is there's nothing to worry about because he's playing. Two outs, two men on, first and second, facing Nate Ivaldi. This would be good for the hobby and the NL if Corbin Carroll maybe puts one out, maybe gets an RBI double, clears the bases a little bit. That'd be nice. I don't know how much a, uh, a successful all-star game performance will do for the hobby, but anything to, any little thing to add to the resume couldn't hurt. It's Trey White to 99. No, instead he grounds out. Trey White goes to letter T. That'll be for John. Derek Lively, the die cut, will go to Tristan and the letter D. Another Victor Wenbanyama base. That'll be for John. Last ball mojo working real nice for John in this break. All of these will add up too. Another Victor Owen Banyama refractor this time. And there's Jaden Zachary for the letter J, Tristan.
Nick Smith Jr. Mini Diamonds to two ninety nine. What's the strategy on the sort of resale strategy on Wembenyama? I guess all this university stuff. You know, we probably move sooner rather than later. So there might be some value in holding some of the lower numbered stuff, but. And there's a leaky black letter L. That's going to be for Adam. And then maybe bank that money for when his pro uniform stuff comes out. Contenders, maybe. Prism, select. All right, second to last box. Gilo, what's going on? Wow. Adam saying his base from this set still selling for around 50 bucks. I don't know, maybe the, I wonder if like the, the, the sort of, the history that Bowman best has will kind of keep that value even if he's in his non-pro uniform. Delta, what's going on? So the Bowen U first was his first card correct for Victor. First, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there were other trading cards of Victor Wembanyama, but from from Topps Bowman, it's the first. You'll grade and sell base, says Jar. Gilo saying college football and basketball cards holding decent value in general. That's good to hear. But there will be a little dip once the pro uniform stuff comes out though, right? Maybe that's shifting. It used to be a very stark difference between college uniform stuff and then pro uniform stuff. But maybe that's starting to shift. And again, maybe with Bowman Chrome, Bowman Best, all the university products, Inception University, Maybe just having that that sort of more recognizable, you know, more history-filled brand will help. That'll be interesting to see. Highest Mooner last year in Clemson QB sold both 50. That's not bad. Julian Phillips die cut for Tennessee. Tristan, Adam Flagler to 199 for Adam Copperman. Letter A. Oh, that's a home run for the AL. Yandy Diaz with 383 feet. Here is Malik Renault and Caleb Love, letter C, Steven. Some people super die are college football fans too, that makes sense. Well, what about Wembenyama though? I don't know how many diehard Metropolitan 92 fans are out there, Mets 92 fans out there. Tyrese Proctor to letter T. Rasir Bolton Gold to 50. John with letter R. Mark Armstrong, Speckle, and we got Hannah Cavinder, Miami. Jose, letter H. All right, and the 
final box of this two case break. Thanks everyone for watching. And uh, Rex, if you're listening, I think Nick Jaspi did indeed cancel a filler for that baseball mixer, so there's some full spots available for you and everybody else, not just Rex. And I think there's still some spots left in the final filler. Or maybe we're planning on more filler. I don't know. We'll f I'll give you an update after this break. You know, that's, that's what I was just talking about that a little bit earlier, Delta. I think we pulled some, of, we pulled an autograph of his and some numbered cards and base cards. But yeah, it's way too early to really be thinking about that even before another college basketball season has even tipped off. Or Is he in college or is he playing for someone else? Overtime? He's in high school maybe? I don't know. But either way, now I'm curious. Thank you. He's 18 years old. He's 6'11". Oh, he's in. He's he's G leaguer. Oh, he's gonna be a G leaguer. I guess he's going to be with the Ignite. 6'11", 195 pounds. Um, born in Chicago, Lithuanian background. Yeah, and I have seen some, some way too early mock drafts having him like top three. Oh, good. You have an auto and numbered first from Bowman Chrome as well, says Adam. Yeah, Adam has all the M's. I guess you'll, I guess you'll, be, uh, you'll be watching a lot more G League games than you thought at this upcoming season, Adam. Your Donovan Klingon, 19 out of 99 for Tristan and letter D. Yeah, I don't know much about him, but from what I've read, there 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 is some hype around him. There he is again. And there's Ron Holmes. D Tristan. So this guy apparently is a consensus five-star recruit, one of the top players of the 2023 class, according to a major recruiting service, according to major recruiting services. He ultimately chose to play professionally for the G League Ignite, but he had considered playing for Kentucky, Duke, North Carolina, Florida State, USC, Wake Forest. Jalen Cook, Gold Lava to 75. It'll be for Jay, for Tristan. Got a Caitlin Clark, uh, there's Lauren Betts, Caitlin Clark Neon Neophytes. Insert. And Caleb Love is your final autograph. Blue auto for letter C, Stephen Carney. That's to 150. Allergies drive me crazy here. It's been warming up. As it gets my allergies all goofy. All right. Um, this is also, yeah, I'll do a recap in a second, but let's do the wax party invite. So not only can you get some nice hits for future basketball stars, we can, we're giving away a wax party invite. And think about the odds here. This is a 1 in 16 chance at a wax party invite. So there's some good value here. So let's gather everybody's names, copy everyone's names. 
new dice, new list. I don't have to do any other randomizers. Name on top. After five and a one, six times, we'll get a wax party invite. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, six, and final time. Adam Kupperman. Congrats to you, Adam. Pretty solid break and a wax party invite. Congrats. Now let's check out the solidness of this break. Yeah, Caleb Love, pretty good. Gilo's pointing out. Got some other color on Caleb Love. Blue, green. Wen Banyama. Refractors. Jet Howards. To 10. We're talking about Mattis Bozellis. Oh, it was your first one? Nice. Congrats, Adam. Better late than never. That's a, a short print right here. Kalen Clark refractors. Yeah, I really like what's happened out of this set. Jason Jaspi has personal box of this on Instagram Live. Check it out, at Jaspi's Breaks. And of course, the good stuff here, we had the Kalen Clark speckle autograph to 25, nice little number there. A blue Wemby to 150, a pink lava Wemby to 100, and a Wembenyama autograph. Nice stuff, there you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.